Why was Vasco da Gama so clearly hungry for money? Hungry enough to kill for it. Well, you can find the answer here in the bowels of the British Library by looking at wonderful old maps like this one, which is of the city-state of Lübeck, dating back to 1530. It's just one long, very long, celebration of local autonomy. And it was a pattern repeated throughout Europe. In Venice, La Serenissima, here in Frankfurt on the banks of the River Main, and of course, in London itself, it wasn't just London pride. All the great European cities were proud of their own autonomy. I can't help feeling that the message of these maps is divide and rule, except that it was by being divided that the Europeans ended up ruling the rest of the world. Small was beautiful in the Middle Ages because smallness meant competition, competition between states and within states between companies. Compare that with China, with its one monolithic empire. Whereas in China, power was centralized in the hands of the emperor, in Northern Europe particularly, there was an astonishing decentralization. Hundreds of states and city-states competing against each other.